Our animal shelters are packed full of animals waiting to find their forever homes. But holiday trends can lead to some animals being adopted, then returned shortly after Christmas. Our Audrey Dickherber checked in with the SPCA to see what's happening right here at home. The holiday season can be tough for animal shelters for many reasons, one being that a pet will find a new home just to end up right back in the shelter. The SPCA Albright Center in Aiken is doing everything they can, but is calling on the community to help too. We've been over capacity for the past two years. Um, as of right now, we have 81 dogs and 111 cats. The SPCA Albright Center says they get around five calls a day from people wanting to give up their pet. Whether um, someone passed away and this is the family trying to rehome their, their dog or, you know, times have gotten tough and they're not necessarily able to take care of the dog to make sure that they're thriving at home anymore. Or, you know, they got a dog for the holidays and it's too much to too much of a responsibility that they can't bear it. But right now they have a wait list if you need to give your dog up. Last week, 11 dogs were adopted and they took in 19 more. And that's not including the dogs that were given back after being adopted. It's an influx of just animals in the community right now, uh, nationwide. And so having a week where we can even adopt out as many animals as we take in, that's a blessing. So a week where we can adopt out more animals than we take in, that's a miracle. But people giving up their pets aren't the only reason more of them are ending up in shelters. One thing that does absolutely increase around the holidays are lost animals. Um, because whether it's fireworks or the festivities and parties, you know, a lot of people forget to put their dogs up. A dog can, you know, get too excited and find their way out and families end up losing their animals. Needing people willing to foster, adopt, or volunteer. And these animals are wanting to find their forever home. If we had 50 people in line ready to take an animal, <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> if you're interested in fostering or adopting a dog, for more information, visit WRDW.com. And Aiken, Audrey Dick Herber, on your side. I think one of those dogs there that Audrey had wanted to go home with her. But again, these dogs are a long time commitment. If you're going to go down to the shelter and get one, so many sad faces there, all of them could use a home. So if you can afford to adopt, go ahead and try to do that.